Good morning. Uh, this is going to be a short review on my K98 bayonet. So this is a K98K bayonet. It's actually a 1940 dated blade and scabbard. And the uh, frog itself um, is 1941 dated. So I'm not too clued up with bayonets. I'm definitely more of a uh, small arms enthusiast in terms of what I know. Um, but each rifle I have, I really don't see complete until I've got the bayonet, the sling, and whatever accessories really don't need to go with it. So uh, this was a really interesting find actually. So uh, when I was um, celebrating my first wedding anniversary um, in 2013, um, me and my wife were in Florida at the time and uh, we drove to Daytona Beach for the day and I stopped, last, stopped at an army surplus shop and uh, the second I saw the word army surplus, I you know, screeched the car to a halt and got out and had a good old look. Two hours later, bit of a pissed off wife, I came out with this bayonet. So uh, it was um, underneath the display cabinet and it cost $199, which I thought, actually conversion into English is about 140 quid. Not too bad at all. It matches, as in the blade, matches the scabbard, numbers wise. And it looks really authentic. So you get a lot of, not re well you do get a lot of repros um, with, with bayonets, but this definitely looks like it was a potentially a bring back from uh, like an American GI. So what leads me to believe that is one, this is really worn out to the point where it doesn't actually even close and the slightest bit of pressure on that, that, that tab will actually come off. Um, if you look at the way it sits, it sits at an angle so it doesn't go straight up, it almost veers off to an angle like that. So leads me, leads me to believe that it was hung on the uh, webbing of a of a soldier, and it's got nice spacing in between the in between the leather there, and actually the back of it as well. This is going to be quite hard to make out. I've done a dummy run before, but it didn't. But this has got a maker's mark, and it reads something along the lines of Berlin, and the date stamp right there is 1941. So genuine German. Manufacture. Alright, let's take this apart and have a look. So I've just separated all the components. You've had a quick look at this already. The patina on this is really, really lovely. And you've got the, the scabbard itself. So the numbers at the top read... I'll go into that. Numbers at the top read 4823. And the maker's mark there is E Pack and Sons 1940. For bayonets, these were like really well waffen amped. And actually, early war stuff in Germany was profusely stamped every single part with that waffen amped military code there. So that's uh, one of the waffen amps on the pommel. So moving on to the blade, so there's two types of blade, um, or I should say, I believe that's called the hilt, so you've got the wooden type and the Bakelite type, um, predominantly later war was Bakelite and early war was wooden handles I guess, um, researchers led me to believe, but they still come out with, I, I st I've, I've still seen examples of these up until like 1942, 1943 even when the Bakelite was around, so I guess it does depend on the manufacturer. If we look at the um, numbers on here, 4823, four, oh, excuse me, 4823, and on the other side of the blade, you've got that EPAC and Sons, and EPAC and Sons. And the blade is dated. Where is it? Just here. 40. 1940. The blades came blackened. I believe they're unsharpened. Maybe wrong. A little bit of wear to the bottom end of the blade there. Got 
the waffle ant. There. And there's two more in the reverse here. So I'll just do a bit of a slow motion going left to right. Really, really pleased with this find. It's quite interesting. So there was a Yugoslavian Mauser bayonet next to this in the shop that I bought it from in Daytona. And it was $249 for the Yugoslavian M48 bayonet. I mean, in terms of historical standpoint, you know, this what this was $199 versus the Yugo bayonet. That was 250 So I don't quite get why this was cheaper. But a good looking bayonet, looks amazing attached. So my K98 bayonet. Thank you very much for watching.